What I want to do today is connect our Google Assistant and Facebook Messenger apps so that whenever we ask Google Assistant to send a prompt, a Facebook message will automatically be sent out into our selected Facebook page. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want my Google Assistant to trigger the creation of a Facebook message, I'll need to use Google Assistant as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Pushed Voice Message as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Google sees that I've sent a new push voice message to my Google Assistant, it's going to run this workflow. I want to inform my boss that I've completed a task, so for my trigger phase, I'm going to type send a completion message to John on Facebook Messenger. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do this, we'll first need to authenticate our Google Assistant with Zapier. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. Grab your phone and go onto the Google Assistant app. You'll want to say, talk to Zapier. From there, you'll receive a prompt that states that your Zapier account needs to be linked to Google Assistant before continuing. Say yes, and the authentication screen should pop up. From there, you can authenticate the app and go back to the test trigger screen on your computer and then click test trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click continue and we can start creating our action. Type in Facebook Messenger into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click send message from page and click continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Facebook Messenger with Zapier, just like I did with my Google account. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click continue when it's time to assign our trigger apps data into the action apps field. First, pick the page you want to use for your Zap. Next, type in your recipient ID number. If you don't have this data, you can find it by going to a separate Zap and typing in Facebook Messenger as the trigger. You'll want to go through all the steps and then select any action step. I'll use Gmail. Fill out the data required until you get to set up your action, and then when you have the ability to click on a drop-down menu, copy your recipient ID from the Zap you are currently in and paste it onto the recipient ID section of the Zap that you were working on before. Last, type in the message that you want to send. I'll type in a custom message. I'll type, hey John, I've just completed my tasks. Please let me know if you need anything else. Thanks. Next, click test action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime we ask Google Assistant to send a prompt, a Facebook message will automatically be sent out to our selected Facebook page. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps than thousands of others. Check Zapier out. Click the link in the description.